Why doesn't Ball Hair just keep going and going and going? He told an incredible story about an incident that happened to him. I was like, like this. He fucking farted in his fucking face. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 131 of The Tasteless Gentleman. As per usual, we have Dominic. Yeah, drive fast, eat ass. <laughs> Alex. What you got, Alex? Bang, bang, Niner gang. <laughs> Scoop. I don't have anything like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Those were too good. Wait, wait, real quick before we get into something. Yeah. Why doesn't ball hair just keep going and going and going? Right? If you left your ball bag hair, like I, you know, on deployment, I'm not shaving my balls. They didn't get crazy. But, but I mean, but what's so, not crazy though? Like, so, how? Like how long? It I mean, gets curly, not yeah, long. Yeah, curly. But like, I think if you did ten years, is of it like Baron Davis's beard? <laughs> <laughs> like, could you imagine if you had these artists just painting big ass dicks, <laughs> just huge dicks? <laughs> you know, I was telling somebody today, I had like the worst Niner bet, dude. It was gonna be, I was gonna get a, a tattoo of White Clark making the catch on my inner thigh <laughs> if they won the Super Bowl, and uh, so it was gonna be so if my nuts would swing, it would be where Dwight Clark's hands were. <laughs> That's actually pretty. Yeah, that was a pretty good. It was a pretty good tattoo, right? <laughs> so I made the bet. Literally at the end of the fucking 49ers season, and the next season was the one we played the Super Bowl the, against the Ravens. So you're and kind of panicking. Yeah, so we were like five <laughs> yards out at the end, and like if it was a touchdown, we won the Super Bowl. And I just remember it was just so bittersweet. I was like, man, like, I want to swim, but at the same time, like I really don't want to go to the tattoo shop. <laughs> And get this drawn out and just be out there like yeah, yeah, yeah. with my and <laughs> everyone's got to look at it every yeah. time you fuck some chicks gonna be looking at your inner thigh you like, gotta explain that yep. yeah are there certain spots on chicks I really don't like unless she, she's completely tatted yeah. I like those suicide <laughs> bitches oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. All that. Yeah, that's cool. Wee. What was the rapper name with the bear with the paws oh, or whatever? Little Eve. Yeah, she was bad though. Come on, yeah, she can wear those paws. I've seen memes with um, where the topic is like a chick going through a dude's phone, and it's like, haha, that's funny. That's my man. That's no, like no, no, no. Yeah. This is not okay on any level. Yeah. And just trust us when we tell you, because I'm old, <laughs> that this is not okay. It's yeah. not on any level. And also, especially going through the phone thing, it's not even about like what I've done since we're together it's the fact that I don't delete any text messages yeah, yeah that too yeah <laughs> like, sure are you gonna go back and look at everything I said and yeah. figure out that everything sweet I said to you I said to some other girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're not I've only got so many lines we're not, we're not that original it's not like we're fucking writers and we're coming yeah. up with new material for every woman we date even writers aren't that original no exactly <laughs> you know what I mean this is gonna get off topic but I'll come right back you know what I hate the old bird always says you've told me that before I'm like shut up bitch let me tell it again yeah. Yeah, I've told everybody that no, I'm still better than. Oh, that must have been your other girlfriend. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We have our good friend KJ here. So we're here. I was on Shoney Show with KJ. KJ told an incredible yeah. story about an incident that happened to him, and I asked him to come on our show to tell the same story. And then I dipped out for a while to Costa Rica, where I just run in surf charters on a boat, and then I. I met these guys that they operated a, a company that built and operated zip lines all over the world and they were like you ever come back hit us up we'll give you a job and I was like oh, fuck yeah yeah and then I so came. you're just down there hanging out in Costa Rica yeah well I was running surf charters off a boat I was living on a boat too a sailboat how was, did you decide to get to to the head to, not that I mean that sounds fucking amazing I've considered it myself but <laughs> what prompted you to say yeah I'm wait, over San Diego I'm with that go. shitty knee you're gonna work on a boat <laughs> no I said I'm going to Costa Rica you dick I didn't say I was gonna work on a fucking boat fuck you. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Sure. So we came back, and in the meantime, though, I had done this starter once where these, these wild Canadians, you know, really charismatic, girl, like, ah, ah. and uh, you know, we're we, we're building zip lines all over the world. This conservational company, you would be perfect if you ever moved back, because we're gonna start one in San Diego. They knew I was um, living there before I moved to Costa Rica, and I was like, all right, well. I'll probably hit you up on that and then a month later I was sitting up and then at the time I became friends with one of the owners and, was like, and I, I had a spot in Costa Rica where I thought there would be a perfect zip line he was like alright that, that sounds good let's drop out there soon but I, I need you to go to Vegas and uh, manage a set of zip lines out there in a canyon it was like 15 miles outside the strip man it was a Vegas was crazy because we were still living the lifestyle right we, of course we'd work we'd go out play poker go to strip clubs that was it every night and then I had the first tour in the morning I was kind of tired I worked all day so I was like fuck it you get tired of Vegas because yeah. you're out in the desert yeah hot as shit yeah 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 <laughs> exactly and um, I was like alright fuck it I stayed in which changed the course of anything or everything Things so is this off. one of 
the zip lines <laughs> where you're laying flat? No, no. Um, you're not. But it was a, like a legit setup. Like you had a full on harness. Uh, yeah. Obviously, all of them you have a harness, but you come down to a. It was connected to a trolley, which had these wheels and covered by a case, sure. right? So sure. there'd be two guys giving a tour, right? So one guy would fly down first. The other one would stay up there with a the guest. He'd send them down to whoever flew down first so he could get the guest off the zip line, right? Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. So on that second one, I flew down first and it was, it was a negative line. Now, what that means was the structure of the canyon. The picture was starting way up here and then went like this and then it, at the end it came back up like that to slow you down is that how it was designed or i think so that day i don't remember but i guess i was boning out and you coming in the wind was pushing down and then at the end of the zip line there was uh, a set of brakes that didn't do shit to really slow you down just a little bit and a giant spring at the end right so um the only way you're going to get yourself off the zip line by yourself is to wrap your feet around the zip line because then you're going to stop moving right yeah. you release slack of the harness and then drop to the platform um now on that one at the spring this is what i would normally do the spring giant spring bounce off it but you get the momentum to wrap your feet around because yeah, you hands. kind of swing your legs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's what I went to do now. And instead of my feet, you know, really wrapping around an angle like this, it was like the perfect storm, right? So, you know, you can press the spring and it stops for just split seconds. Like yeah, before it recoils right, like and crazy. Boom, yeah. recoils. Yeah. And so right when it, it stopped is right when I wrapped my feet around, right? But instead of wrapping it around at an angle, like around the zip line, they wrapped around the top edge of the trolley. Now, the trolley had the wheels in it and stuck out about that far above my head. It was an aluminum case, right? The zip line yeah. was steel cable. Kind of hard to decide the difference when you things are happening so fast mm-hmm. and instead of you know like my feet were too high they wrapped around the top edge of the trolley but i thought i made the contact with the zip lining and when the spring had just stopped so i was like oh okay you're good yeah boom i unhooked and then you unhooked right and just with without even a blink in your eye it's all boom the scream um the spring recoiled and that at that point i was unhooked but i was hanging on like if i were to do a pull up right and my own i don't know things are happening so fast so and i don't remember this so i should have just been like oh fuck and then drop 10 feet right not some scrapes yeah. and bruises but yeah maybe break a leg or something yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but i mean who who knows? I mean, I'm probably so shell shocked and adrenaline to the roof, so I'm just hanging on for dear life. And I would never roll back in because of, because of the negative. So I'm just rolling out, hanging on. If I, like if I were to do a pull up, and my my friend, one of my best friends that I was living with, we you know those sticks I used to clean pools, so you yeah, stand yeah. with the little yeah, yeah with the little hook. We had those it. out there in case a guest would roll back and they can grab it and they pull it back in. And he flung it out, flung it out because he was on the tour before, and I guess my feet just barely grazed it. And from there, I was rolling out, and he was getting back on the zip line. And I didn't, you're out in the desert, so you're sweating balls right now. I'm hanging on to a piece of metal and I have no idea. These are things I don't remember and I'm just rolling out and I not this the trippiest thing to this day that I did though before I dropped because um, he was like, man, it, it was kind of strange because you, you looked at me and it was like you laughed. You're like... <laughs> at the, How far up do you, do they think you were? 80 feet. 80 feet. Yeah. To rocks. To, to a sandy canyon, right? Yeah. yeah. Just just for reference, like how many stories is that? Eight stories. Eight stories. Like, oh my God. And there was um a lot of talk about that's you, you dropped for sure there on purpose because if you would not roll down any further, that's when the, you, there was like boulders and jaggedy rocks. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, I fell on pavement. I would have never survived or asphalt, but this this was a you know the, the sand kind of blew my fault fo- my fall and then yeah i hit it and then i rolled down the canyon um that's when a lot of other damage happened but yeah eight, so 80 feet right and as soon as i hit the ground boom i was instantly unconscious yeah and i'm sure your body crunched yeah. you know like so you're we, looking so- at your buddy you laugh and then le- and then you're de- you fall yeah yeah it's really weird because i i don't remember anything yeah, Wait, Dom, speaking of jujitsu, how is that Yo, going for you? You really want to know? Yes, fuck yes. you. Yes, check know. this out. This is what happened. <laughs> this, is like, this is why I asked. This is like, why we're here. Ago, right? We were doing uh, arm bars, and um, I was with my partner, and I was, I was telling him, I was like, "Yo, man, like when you do it, you gotta like thrust your hips up. You know what I mean? To really yeah. get that that crank, like get that momentum. extra like, leverage. Yeah, you get the balls <laughs> and the elbow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you really got crank. He's like, how? He's like, show me. I was like, all right, man. And I got his arms. Like, I was like, like this. Fucking farted <laughs> in his fucking face. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was like, dude, I am so sorry. He was like, that's one way to get a guy to tap out. Like, was it a gnarly, like a bad one? It was like, it came out of nowhere, dude. Like, for real. Like, it came out of nowhere. Dude, dude, you didn't even have the bubble guts? No, nothing. It was just dark right in his fucking mouth. That came from oh. deep down. That one wasn't ready to come out. That one was still, oh, bro, was still in the works. Holy just shit. It out. How, like, how close was your asshole to his face? Bro, it was like pretty much ass to mouth. <laughs> like the human centipede. Yeah, so you farted in his mouth. Oh. Oh. You brought-